somebody showed us up, man. We've been the bad. Dear Lord, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Dear Lord, we'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all our blessings. Dear Lord, we'd like to say thank you for another day. Dear Lord, we'd like to say thank you for looking over us in the time of need. And dear Lord, thank you for all our blessings. I'd like to say amen to everybody else. In all these issues surrounding the MC, the question arises, is there any room for spirituality and the keeping it real world of hip hop? Many times throughout my career, my spirituality ran up against my lyrics. But because my spirituality or my uh, commitment to the spiritual realm is more valuable to me, it is my connection to the spiritual realm which empowers my ability to MC. Well, yeah, I think there's a certain level of guilt to being a rapper like me. I always had the thought, like, you know, is God mad at me for these raps, you know? When people tell me I used to get whoopings for listening to you when I was in elementary school, I'm like, well, I know what my songs were about. Like, you know, a nine-year-old listening to Nancy Reagan suck my dick is, you know, pretty impressionable. So if my music is slightly destructible, you know, kind of um, to where it could do a little damage in somebody's mind. They're like, oh, I want to be a fucking pimp. Fuck you, bitch, and go around disrespecting girls just because of some misinterpreted message they got from Too Short. Um, you know, I kind of deal with it in my own personal peace, get, by getting my own personal peace. I just, I don't live a destructive lifestyle, you know? I don't really go out in the world and destroy. I don't hurt and I don't preach that shit in my conversation. My spiritual development grew faster than my artistic output. That as an artist, I did have to say and do things that were not of my spiritual nature and therefore the conflict and the suffering. I had to make a choice, which God am I going to serve, the world or the spiritual reality that I know exists. And the doubt comes, the disbelief comes, you can't figure it out, you go, you feel like you're confused, and finally, you make a choice. 